Philip Lanou was a man born for New England. As a high schooler, he was a standout on the football field and, of course, his favorite sport, hockey. His passion on the ice continued into his post-high school years as both a player and a coach. But it was about this time where he developed another passion, education, namely in a leadership role. I did my undergraduate at University of Vermont. I was a biology major and I actually went back and did my master's there as well. I was there three years and, and, I, and became principal. I was 30 years old. I took my first principal seat. It was Virginia Union High School. From Vermont, an opportunity opened in an affluent Boston area school district. Lexington was a, a, a suburban high school. Was, I think I encountered 10 years in Massachusetts, the number of dropouts, I think I had less than 10. Uh, so it was, uh, education was pretty important, I think. The, the last year I was at, at uh, Lexington, 15 students went to Harvard out of one class. It is here where our story makes a sharp right turn. Ledoux always loved a good challenge, and in what some would say was a risky move, he decided on going south, way south, ending up in Athens, Georgia, where he became superintendent. But we have a, a huge poverty level in our, our community, and of course jobs and education are the two key elements. And over the last several decades, um, our, our, our school system had gotten a reputation of not being the place that you want to send your children. I went uh, to a Chamber of Commerce meeting, I believe, and heard Dr. Lanou speak in his first year when he had just, just been hired. And I've never seen such energy and, and positive emotion coming out of a human being. He, he makes sure that I'm in the loop on what's going on with the school system, and I do the same thing with him. And it's all for the betterment of the students. And so what are we learning in this class today? Moving from a, a high performance district and a in high wealth district and going to areas where there are challenges and poverty, um, I would say clearly uh, I became a, big, uh, a much better leader um, when I came to Georgia. I think I've become a much better person. Well, you have a great team. You have a great team. Great it's team. just amazing. Yeah. You know, Athens Clark County per capita uh, for communities over 100,000 is the third most impoverished county in the country. We have great kids, just great kids. They just come with great challenges. He wanted a challenge, and now he had one and his passion and commitment became contagious. 40 years that I've been here, when I moved to uh, Clark County School District, I've seen significant changes, but I have never seen this district the way it is now. He brought about, he gave the district a shot in the right arm, he gave it a, a breath of fresh air, and we are doing things, uh, and uh, the kids are achieving things uh, that uh, I've never seen it like this before. I have never seen the support that we have from the uh, community. I think as a community, I think, we, I think we share one heart for our children. And then we began to leverage partnerships in, in very different ways. We, we have a partnership with the University of Georgia, of which we didn't have before six years ago. We brought 10,000 students to the university, sponsored by different departments for educational experiences. The really key point of this is to work between the university and the school district to improve education at both institutions. So there's multiple benefits across both institutions. In a handful of years, Philip changed the culture of the school district and the entire city of Athens. The proof is in the numbers where they grew, up to 80% graduation rate and still climbing. Nowhere near where he wants it to be, but he knows, he knows he'll eventually get there. But are these equivalent to like numbers or are they, yeah. is that what that is? It's a simple equation, if you're teaching, someone has to be learning. And if they're not learning, you can't call it teaching, but we called it teaching for years. And so we need to, we need to stop that. And so we, we really need to look at the instructional process. And the other part is we have to look at is that teaching is about inspiring. How do you inspire some? How do you inspire? How do you take kids to new places? It's exciting, I think, for teachers and for students. Um, for teachers, um, they're making games with students that they never made before. Uh, they're excited about the learning because teachers are working collaboratively. They work as a team, and the students are benefiting from that because they understand exactly what they're going to be taught they understand what they are to know by the end of the lesson. We can't take risks with our own kids, who are we? Sweetie, sweet, sweet. Sweetie, thanks to uh, Clark Middle School, this is part of our real strong initiative for Farm to Table. We serve fresh produce. But we're real excited and jump-starting our Urban Farmers Program. All the conversations we had centered around student achievement. 
Dr. Lanou wants every child to succeed. And you don't just hear that from him, you, you, he lives it. I think what we've done is we've aligned our beliefs. We have a very clear mission for this district and we all have roles and responsibilities to make sure that happens. But we have a relentless piece that our kids are gonna get through. So what I say is if not today, tomorrow, if not here somewhere else, but there's gonna be a B for our kids. They're gonna get there. I mean, it's really air so hot. I mean, I wouldn't know. So how do our kids respond? Because that's really... The tale of Philip of Athens is definitely a heroic one. One that even Hercules would envy. The hockey coach who wanted another challenge. A challenge to take on a titan of a task and make a difference. Dr. Lanou is sincere about what he does and it makes a difference. Uh, you can hear it in his voice and he cares about uh, students. And nowadays in 2015, students don't care how much you know until they know that you care. And he's a caring superintendent. So you named it your name, just like this. So, you, so I can say you get your own constellation. What's really kind of happened in this whole six years is that people said we have a stake. We have to have a heart. It's not your kids, it's our kids. And I think that's the biggest difference. It's not your problem, it's our problem. And so we've moved tremendously as a community where you could call upon anyone. And they say, we're proud of our schools. Not perfect, no. A lot of work to go, yes, but there are kids. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.